Oh yeah. As you know, my name is Ayo Tunde Falegon. With me over here is Shibes. Yeah. Akiba Boy, as you know. Yeah, Shibes International. Uh, Shibes International. That's Eli Shibuzo. Akiba Boy. You oh, see, you, you have to pay yes. you. I, I give you the full name. I have before. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I want to appreciate people. Thank you so much. I, I, I've been looking at all the program that we are doing. I see people that are sharing. I want to appreciate you for sharing this program. I know it's not easy. It just, for some people, it's, a, it's, it's, it's kind of a, a lot of work for them to just go to the share button and just share it on their, on their Facebook page. It's a lot of work. But still, I want to appreciate people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Omobashas, Adedamola, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Mrs. Adeni Kemosis, thank you so much. You are welcome, ma. Uh, let's see. Mr. Adegbemini Yolua Tosin, thank you so much. We appreciate you, sir. Um, Mr. Babatunde Sheko Nicola Wale, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Mr. Bumi Akilo Soto Crown, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Michael, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? Okay, please, uh, Mrs. Oluato Temitayo Adioya, thank you so much. We appreciate you for joining us on this wonderful program. Please don't forget to share, 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 share this program on your Facebook page. So today's topic, the topic is which is more important, your family, church, or work? If you are single, this means, is it your parents, under family, your parents and siblings? If you are married, is it your wife and children? Which one is more important? important if you if you are to prioritize like put it in order when you want to prioritize something you put it in order what are you what's going to be on the first second and third list so we have church we have family and we have work please uh uh viewers i want you to comment which one is important to you and when you are listing it you're listing your first choice your second choice and your third choice i want you to put the reason why you think they are important to you but for me, see, when I'm say, uh, talking about church, let me break it down. When I'm talking about church, I'm not talking about God. For me, God comes first. Now we're talking about church. When you talk about church, church in the church activities and everything, you understand what I'm saying. I'm not talking about God. God is not church. Don't miss it together. It's two different things. So for me, Family comes first, work comes second, and the last one is the church. These are the reasons why I pick family. I say family is very important to me because they support us when we are in need. They support us when we feel bad. They support us when we have problems, when we get in trouble. Family give useful advice to you and up. That is what family do. Because there is this uh, quote that says, there is this quote that says, he said, at the end of your life, you will never regret not having passed one more test, not winning one more <coughs> verdict, or not closing one more deal. You will regret time not spent with a husband, with a friend, with a child, or your parents, or with a parent. Again, let me read it for you. He said, at the end of your life, you will never regret not having passed one more test. Not winning one more deal or verdict. You will regret time not spent with a husband, with a friend, with a child, and a parent. To me, church is the last place I want to go. But it will remain the place I need to be. Again, church is the last place that is on my list. When we are picking, as you know, I pick family. I pick work. Then church was the third one. I picked church to be the last one because it's always going to remain the last, but it will always remain the place I need to be. You get me? So please and please, I want to hear from you. Okay, please and please, I want to hear from you. Please, what do you think? Shives. Uh, well, thank you everyone for joining this program. 
this topic is very important. When I see, when I saw the uh, the topic, when my Iogen link sent it to me, I want it. What? Well, when you see that three things is important into our life, mm. but your own priority there, your own the one that is important, the most important into your life. When I just uh, uh, I put a church last. Going to church does not make you to go heaven. Mm. You can know God and live a holy life in your house. Even is even good to practice Christianity when you are alone, mm. not when people are around you. Many people they are hypocrites True. about church. You can serve God within yourself and even the house without stepping into church. So I put that church last. Mm. But when I, I, I come about uh, the, the, to, the remaining two, family the and family work. and work, even without work, you can't please family. Hmm. You understand? But when you see it, I just put it like, like 100, like, seven, uh, like 60, 40. Then I give, it, I give my, my family 60. Hmm. I give work 40. 40. I can't give work 60 and give my family 40. True. You know, family is very important, yeah, especially when you are, you, you, are, you are your husband and your children. If you just, you know, you can see that even your husband just even married to the work that, he, although he provides money, going to work is to even to satisfy family without work, without money. I believe that family cannot be able to but, so, yeah. but when you look at it, it's very important because there is a, sometimes I would tell my husband, ah, it's too much. You, we didn't see your face in this house. Mm. I know you're providing for us, but the most important is family. Gather together with your family. Make your family first priority in your life. So the second one is work. I can't leave work. So I see that is what I, I, I put it 40, 60. I cannot just forget work mm. because without work, family cannot move. Can you be okay, stay with your family the whole year without working, without money? The family will not progress. Even work where your, where your children, they need food, they have to clothe, they have to go to school. If you didn't go to work, where will money come out? True. So for my own opinion, for my own liking is what I, I take the two, but I, I put it in a... Church is last, mm. even though I didn't go to church. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I take that too. But I put it like it's very important to me. But the one that is most important to me is family. That is why I give work 40 and I give uh, my family 60. Mm. So Thank you so that much. Is it. Viewers, what do you think? Because you know some people uh, we say work because they believe that uh, like Chibes, that, that point that you just hammered like without uh, money, Family can normal move. They said so. What, uh, fam, uh, for them, work is going to be their own priority. Let me let me let me let me see something. I put a quote down. And I, oh, it's a it's a Bible verse. Let me go there. It says Proverbs eleven twenty nine. It said, "Whoever brings ruin on their family will inherit only wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise." Again. Proverbs eleven twenty nine. He said, "Whoever bring rooms on their family will inherit only wind. The fool will be servant to the wise." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm not a pastor. I don't know how to break <laughs> it down for you so that you can understand. But some people said they pick work because without money, family cannot uh, move ahead. It's true. But we've seen, in, even in reality, people are telling us that all those people that are rich, all those rich people and everything, they always feel bad. At the end of the day, you're going to accumulate all the wealth you want in the life. All the contracts you want in your business and everything, you're going to get everything. After getting it, then you drew in your wallet, then you now calm down and say, then you will lose in the life of your, of your wife, of your kids. Because while you are chasing that vanity, while you are chasing after that work, when you're going to work and you are chasing after that money, ah, I want to make 20, uh, I want to work, some people even say I want to, they want to work 24 hours a, a day. While you are running after it, you don't know where your kids, when they are growing up from age, maybe from age one to mm. three, 
from three to five, mm -hmm. from five till they get to adolescent age. Some people even know, don't know their teachers, uh, their, uh, their students' teacher. There, some people don't even know it. They keep working, working, working. And at the end of the day, who knows? When you work and struggle and struggle and struggle, that may be the end. You might just die in the process. But the life, you, what you cherish with you, you know, that memory with your family, with your children, that is what is going to remain. Even at the last, on your deathbed, when you breathe your last breath, that is what is going to remain. Memory. It's very, very important. What, what, what do we need money for? Is it not to buy these clothes? To buy food, to eat, to do and, and uh, everything? But for me, and I'm still saying for me, family is very important because they hold the memories together and that memory is going to follow you down to your last breath. Thank you. Please, and viewers, viewers, please, 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 I want you to do what? I want you to comment. I really need your contribution. It's very, very important. Honorable Iwaj Mosi said, family and work for me is 50-50. Yes, sir. We want, to, we want you to comment. Why did you say it's 50-50 for you? We want to know the reason why. Uh, yeah. So please and please, we'll be right back. Uh, I think viewers are writing. So let's come back. on. Uh, when we come back on the break, they would have sent something. We'll be right back in two minutes. Mo wa ju mo wa in, mo wa tu mo wa si. since we haven't heard from you please let's hear from you want to know the reason why you chose family and work as 50 50. okay yes yes please call him sir honorable larry why you moses okay so yeah let me say some people say because um some people say work because um it produces money to uh, it uh, requires money to keep a happy family and some people say work is more important because as a man, your prime rep uh, responsibility is to provide for the family. And as a man, you have to go and provide for your family if you want your family to be happy. Uh, good, good afternoon, afternoon everybody. Yeah, good afternoon, yeah. sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. We can hear you. 
Hello. Yeah, Honorable, we can hear you. Mm. Um, I can hear you. You hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, sir. But uh, the reason why I said family and uh, work is 50 50 is that, uh, you know, as a man in the family, you need a work. Mm. I understand that you should not let your work divide your family or separate you yeah. from your family. But this work, I, I know there's different uh, thing before, between there's different thing between uh, work and work. If you are just working and that working does not generate money, mm -hmm. that means you are not working, you are just working. But if that, if that work is giving you money to, you know, to take care of your family, you have to be there as a, as a father, you know, and also you have to be with your family. You know, that is why there is a time we call it uh, off day. That off day should be used for work. It has to be dedicated for family and something that uh, you will need to do. And in the family, before you go to work as an husband, as a father, you know, as a wife, you need a time, a dedicated time to spend with your family you know before you go to that work it's not that when you when you are going to work your children are you still sleeping and your wife is in bed and you go to work and you come back at late night that nobody see you that's totally can you know can destroy the family but that's the reason why i said it is 50 50 because that work supposed to build the family you know in this life now there's nothing that is joke yeah. we are in the century of uh, technology that the children you have today they want to have their tablet they want it's not just that you will give them food it's not about food that they just eat and uh, uh, keep, you know they want everything you need internet you need electricity you need clothes you need many things that will make that family work that that even your wife will be happy with you that oh this man is always provide for this family and also when whenever you have that time that you maybe your whole day or one hour two hours every day to spend with your family you must not divide it or take it or for rendering it useless like okay you do all that and every time you are told me you see have two three hours before you go to work that is why so, so you shouldn't say, say I should to my own opinion, opinion I know in, in another person's opinion and every opinion is, is powerful. Yeah. You know, to my own opinion, I believe that that is how I it should be in my own family because I want to be a father, not just your head father. I want to be a father that will provide for the children and the, and my wife so my wife will be happy. And also the time that I have to spend with them, he has to be very very, very precious time to talk to my wife, to have one hour with my wife, one hour with the kid and also on my off day we ready to go to anywhere to enjoy our life. Not just that off day I will use it to go to work again. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much, much. thank you so much sir. yeah mm. yeah i hope everybody have heard what you said that's his own point of view but to me I, i'm gonna give it like um let's say my family is gonna be 60 my work 30 and church get the remaining 10 right yeah that's yeah. 60 30 10 or you can say 50 40 20 uh, 10 right yeah 60 uh 50 40 10 yeah like that because like honorable like what you say you know nowadays uh everything is changing you know in the only days our parents our our father we just go to the the farm do everything remove all the issue the lambo the agbado and everything bring them home and the the, the wives are happy because their husband will be there. What is that? I'll call me. Oh, what is Oh, today I want silo show Jeff and everything. So to them, they, to I would say back in the days, family is very important. Like on the level, things are changing, but I will still give it 50, 40, say. Like over here, we have to, uh, we work uh, five days a week. Then that two days, you have it for your family uh, to do whatever you want to do. Well, you know, some people like so most of our Nigerians over here, they will still go out and work that two days. Instead of maybe even though you're going to work one day with it, at least leave that one day for your families. That's the time for you to sit down, talk about things you've lost and everything. Memory is very important. And some people, 
some parents i've seen some parents that they will go every day seven days a week making all that money and everything and at the end of the day at the earning to buy the igben loju igben loju igben ni igben no yolo kwada later they will be crying because their children are not making them happy you know when you take your children you, you go you go and give it to them in another family you don't know how that family is raising their own kids so you get whatever they they give you over there so they give your child training assert it that is that is what you pay for it you're looking for money you got money now you can't have both i'm so sorry to say you can't have both don't think you're going to be having money working like walking 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 at the end of the day you you that you are just uh, taking your kids and putting them in the baby sister you don't know what they are teaching them you think you're gonna be happy at the end of the day no it doesn't work that way you have to be present family time has to be cherished you have to understand in as much as you understand that are you are you a family milo shikoko you are good to go let's uh okay i have a comment here Say, uh, Mr. Adegbemi Yoluato said, this is a good topic. On my own view, the question is very straight uh, forward, straight question. Family first, work follows, and church. Even when God created this art, he brings up family first. Thank you so much, sir. Then work later before creating altar for serving God. In fact, I really appreciate you for this comment, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, he created Adam and he later he gave them what he gave them work then after they keep working and feeding each other that is when there was a creation then they, they, then they create author maybe last mama see a lot of wow so that's how it goes let me uh read this uh this article he said research has found that family time is a very significant uh, significant part of the human developmental process and an important force in developing a healthy relationship between husband, wife, and the parents and the children. So why is bonding with family so important? How much time should you spend with your dear ones? And what are the various ways to spend time with your family? This, uh, okay, let me continue. You need to spend time with your spouse and children to strengthen the relationship. In fact, research showed that the higher the frequency of sheer time, the better the marital stability and happiness. That's one could say. The higher, the higher you share your time with, uh, with your family, he said, the better the marital stability and the, uh, the higher the happiness. Moreover, mo oh, moreover, your kids will learn to respect your sacrifice. Hmm. They will show affection towards each other and grow up in healthy relationship. I really love this uh, this uh, article. It said, your kids will learn to respect your sacrifice. Kids, they see. They are looking at everything you are doing for them. They may be playing like, uh, yes. No. They are looking at it one by one. How you place them in your heart. They know. And you're going to get a reward when they grow up. He said, importance of family time for couples. He said, partners are like the roots of the family tree. They need to support and nourish the tree so that it stays firm. It grows and blossoms. This is possible only when they have a strong and loving relationship with them. Here is how it will help. He said, be dear for each other. That's number one. The essence of family is to be dear for each other. If you are facing a tough time at work, sharing it with your partner can be a big relief. This will create a sense of security and belonging. Hmm. Then he said, you have to appreciate one other. The beauty of family is that it has a mix of people with different personalities. And only when you spend time with them will you know how unique each one is. It will also help in developing Tolerance towards each other shortcoming. Then he said, totally create a loving environment for you and your family. When you and your partner love and care for each other, the kids will also develop such positive feeling. Hmm. Then he said, strengthen your marital bond. 
Family time can also help in securing your marriage. Yeah, when the partners spend time together, they begin to learn about each other emotions, well-being, and create a comfortable environment for each other. Lastly, he said it reduces stress. Work-life balance, family responsibility, etc. can be stressful. However, spending time with your family acts as a stress buster. Having a support system to discuss one's stress and issue substan uh, uh, substantially reduce the uh, pressure. Now for the children. He said the importance of family time for the children. It keeps the family together. He said kids need to be safe and secure at home. Spending time with them will make them realize that you will always be there for them. For example, if your child is being bullied at school, they might open up to you if you sit with them every day. Yeah. Sometimes it happens while we are at in the school, the kids are just being bullied by uh, their classmates, you know, their, their schoolmates and everything. But, you know, you are not at home. They don't know how to talk to you, you know. When you are too far, as a parent, when you are too far from your kids, when you are too far from your family, that gap begins to widen. It begins to widen and widen and widen. It will get to some certain point where your teenage, teenagers will not be able to talk to you because they don't know what they're going to hear from you because you are not there. You are always at work. So they don't know. Sometimes when you come home, that fear, that, that fear is, is in their body. They don't know what, what they are going to say that is going to uh, do what? That is going to make you hungry, that is going to make you mad. So family is very important. Let me continue. Okay, I'm coming to the, let me quickly finish this while I come. Say, it's lessening the generation gap. You will never understand. It's what we often hear a teenager say. Yeah, yeah. You know all these kids, even my kids, they do it for me. When I went, they want to tell me something. They say, mommy, if I tell me, you will not understand. I say, why can't you tell me? <laughs> come and sit down. Why can't, tell me. Maybe I will understand, maybe I will not understand, then I will tell you when you tell me the distance. <laughs> they said, you will never understand is what we often hear from these teenagers these days. Children and their parents might drift apart because of the generation gap. Spending quality time will decrease this gap and also create a friendly space. Hmm. I will give it to the parents, all those parents that have a friendly bond with their kids. It's not easy. It's I'm telling you. When you have a, a, this bond with your kids, and most especially kids, uh, they don't want to open up to you. But in a, as a parent, if you see parents and their uh, kids that are like this, uh, in fact, give it to them. It shall not yes. be. Mm -mm, I give it to them. So three, he said, it teaches values of life. You as a parent may not have learned valuable lessons through various events in life. Family time is the best to discuss any accident or incident that happened in your home let me see uh mr adegbemini yolato said when you go through scripture very well you will see that god's what god says about family naturally if you fail to have a good family then you have missed the two family brings about life's endeavor thank you so much sir we'll be right back in two minutes Family to bring a change to the dying world. 
welcome back welcome back everybody please don't forget to share 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 this program on your facebook page thank you uh let's do a recharge card for mtn and glow are you ready fast finger mtn first eight eight nine four three one nine nine two nine seven three zero two one zero four again eight eight nine four three one nine nine two nine seven three is zero two one zero four the next one is glow eight two four four seven nine one two six three 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 six six three again eight two four four seven nine one two six three 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 six six three please if you are the lucky winner don't forget to do it don't forget to send a message to us okay let's continue our conversation yeah uh let's, let me go to the comments um, on said, added good evening ma for me my family is the number one followed by work and church firstly without my parents i can't be in this world my family is my first house and my first school hmm. good point sir if i'm to start talking about family it will take time but my family is the number one Work is very important because it's a means of providing shelter for the for the end and also helping in developing the church. When there is no work, all what church can do is pray for you but can't provide for your family. When you have work and you took it very important, both families and church will enjoy your service as a member and parishioner. That is a very good point, sir. Yeah, let me read another comment. He said, this person said the most important thing in life is family. Family always was more important for us than something or someone else. But not all people think so. They suggest that family is so important as other things. From my point of view, family is very important in our life. I think family always supports us if we feel bad. Moreover, when we have a problem or we get in trouble, family gives useful advice and help. However, some people, uh, some people suppose that there is something more important than family. In their view, money is able to replace family. The more money, the better for them. These people can't forget about family at all at all. Furthermore, there is people who guess that, that more important than family is career. Hmm. They do not worry about family. They think only about job. Although neither money can support you nor a job, finances do not help you find a decision to your problem. Nothing can do it, but family is capable. Hmm. Say, fa uh, family cannot support you, can, uh, cannot help you find a decision to your problem. It is people, which is family, that can help you find a solution to your problem. Nowadays, more and more people uh, forget what is more important in their life. People lost the value of life. They do not appreciate family. What do you think, man? Well, may, uh, I don't know the family the person is referring to. Mm. Because when we talk about maybe work is more important, mm -hmm. or some people prefer work. It depends on the family you have. Mm. This is my own, I'm talking about me and mm -hmm. my husband and my children. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, because you're married. Yeah. Because I'm married. I'm not talking about my, maybe parents. my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, I care about my parents. But what I know, once in a while, if I have the opportunity to visit them and play with them mm. and make sure I provide what they really need is that money. If I'm not married yet, I will, I will, I will, take, I will, I will take work. Because when you see this family, if you don't work hard and provide, mm. let me tell you, Mm -mm. We, 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 what I can see in family, apart from your, your wife and your children, when you talk about family, they prefer the money. Mm. They, they, they don't pre, they pre, prefer sitting with them. When you sit with them without bringing cash, my sister, sitting with them is just in vain. <laughs> yes, I, in that one, if, assuming that I'm not married, mm. I would prefer work. Okay. You understand? Work. Work. I will give work like... Um, 80 mm -hmm. and i will uh, uh, let's say i will give work like 70 i will give church like uh, 10 
I will give my family 20. Mm. But when I'm married now, because you are married and your husband and your child, it's different from your family. Only oh, no, it depends. And there's a family that you don't want even to even to see them. See Just them. go there and drop money and get out. What they need from you is money. I'm saying it's true. They don't even need your presence. They just need that your money. Just me, give me that money. Even mm. when they are doing something, self. Some people maybe they are doing marriage. Now people will say, ah, oh, need the eh, eh, but me, I need the cover. Why? Mm -hmm. And some people like my sister that I want, my my husband's sister that I want to marry. Only I, I wish my 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 brother will be there to be my father. Mm. You know that that is providing money, but I want I want a seat there. Mm. But not everybody. Yeah. You understand? You see this talking about this work. Work is very important in our life. <laughs> Let me tell I you. That's why that's why I, I, I forget about I, even that sister when, when I give it to my family mm -hmm. as a sister. From that we can uh, uh, church is like fun. When mm -hmm. you go to church like on uh, Sunday now, okay, wake up. It's part of family. Mm -hmm. When you wake up and you go to church, you know, with your family. Yeah, it's you part of back. you with your family. You go together. It's fun again. Mm. Come back. I didn't even put church separate. Mm. You go with your family. You understand? But when you put that church, some people put prefer that church than their family. Okay, when you just prefer church, unless if you don't want church, maybe it's God that called you mm. and talk to your ear. I don't want you to walk. Oh. Sit down in my vineyard mm -hmm. and people will be providing for you. For you. You understand me? Mm -hmm. But if you are if you are not that God that called you that sit down in the in the vineyard, yeah, yeah. God will be providing for you. That you hear that you will see them, God will provide for them. But if you see some pastor that they just uh, Ah, it is the means of uh, getting oh, money, money and they are not working. Hmm. They just sit down. You see money, Anybody most people that working. Yes, most people it doesn't fa it doesn't even favor them. Like in my church in Ondo, hmm. some pastors that with my pastor, how much are they giving you? Even the even the the general overseer that found the church, you still have business. <laughs> And what of you that giving you ten thousand? You see that that uh, you want and you don't have church, oh? you mm. don't see any tangible job to do again to support that your pastor. Mm. After fast, so we finish um, uh, VG, he will take his car mm. and go to farm. He has many businesses and he's the general overseer. Are you you that what do you, you uh, later you you will be think of? Um, you will not consider envy will be there. Mm. That heaven that you are looking, you are not going to that heaven level. For sorry to say that. You didn't walk. They are giving you 70, 10, 000 or 15,000. Is that 15,000 we, 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 mm. we feed your family? Mm. And you say you see that inside, inside church. church. Serving God. Serving God. God, no. Ani Igbambo. Lai Sishe. Oku. The Bible, God have said it. Mm. So that's why I didn't even put a uh, church. church because that then is part of when we go to like on Sunday now. My husband is part of that. We go to church together. together and come back. But to be sincere, I'm, and I want everybody to to kind of. Uh, but I can't give my I can't give my work and my family the same thing. The same thing. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Is it does you know we know that you must provide work. work and provide for your family mm -hmm. we know that one but put your family and work in the same area that's for my what, own that's what i want to talk about for my own mm -hmm. i didn't no, no 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 you know sometimes mm -mm. Mm -mm. i didn't agree for my own think, no. no some people think it's, it's going to be the same thing mm -mm. or maybe greater work should be greater than family mm -mm. Mm -mm. but as a as a as a man you have your wife and kids the first thing you are thinking ah. Is about that family. Yeah. So let don't let us uh come on in come off or quack or lock polo quid you. I won't want no lot she chef. Is it not your family? Is it not that family? So please, when you say we can't give it 50 50, it's not possible. Except you're gonna love one more than the other. God said you cannot serve two masters. Mm -mm. You're gonna love one and hate the other. Ah, can you show long? But as a human being, it's not possible. You see, that one is greater for you than the other. No. They both can be at the same time. That's what the Bible said. It said, we cannot serve two masters. It's either we love one and hate one. one. 
So I don't know for those people who say work and love are the same. No, because when you go to work, but as, as if my husband goes to work, even me when I go to work, Toria Tanimolo she chef. Is it not from because of my family? So so I'm just saying sometimes we don't see it, but family is our number four, uh, number first choice. Let me see a comment. Uh yes, so you've said it. Oh, mommy Shibes. When there is no money, families won't take you very important. But when there is money, you will be highly recognized. No work, no money, and no money, no friends. <laughs> May God help us. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it is the record. It's true. May God help us. Let me see. Uh, let me read. Uh, somebody said church is important. Let's look what that person <laughs> mean. He said, I started going to church with our children when they were younger. I thought it was really important for them to be raised with our foundation. And that is, and that it was important for our kids, that it was important for our kids to know that they didn't have to do things just because we have said so. But because the creator of the universe says so too, my husband has come alongside with me and I've been on some partner in attending church. This person said, uh, number one, this thing is worshiping with other believer is really important. It is imperative that we belong to a body. None of us are perfect or without failing. We come into fellowship and recognize that together. We ask for his forgiveness together. We all know we are falling. We struggle day and day out together. We draw strength and courage from each other. It is hard to try to live a godly life. Together, it is easier. I, I have made some very good friends there my brothers and sisters in Christ, and that makes my heart happy. This person, you see that, that person is single. <laughs> well, although she says she's not single. She's not single. We all know. They say worshipping with, uh, with other believers is really important. We know. No, it's very important, but it's, when it's you, important when, but when you feel live in your family hmm. and cleave those church, don't call church churches. Church activities. Oh, church activity, and you see... Uh, uh, you see all those people, all those, all those, um, all those uh, sisters and the Lord. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, there is nothing like sister in the Lord. Mm -hmm. There is nothing like brother <laughs> in the Lord. Lord. <laughs> your family is your family. Let me tell you the truth. For this Christianity that we, we are, are practicing, practicing now, mm -hmm. hey, practicing Christianity, church that you will even go, where you dress even gorgeously, they will even see where you are coming, self, you will see you like this. They are inside church, oh. <laughs> a sister, a brother, mm -hmm. and you see, like now, nah, maybe uh, this fella, fella, something now, nah, maybe fits me. Maybe it's even the, the the clothes that I'm putting is very little. Even the one that you are putting is very expensive. expensive. But, I'm, uh, but immediately I enter, and you call yourself a Christian, <laughs> you will just do like this. <laughs> we'll be right back. Let's go. On a God, break. Have mercy. Please, I need your comments. Please, <laughs> it is very important. Comments, comments, comments. God, have mercy, no, no. Let's come together. I want family.
worry. Let me see. Um, Omar Bashar said that Mala said a comment. He said, I, "I go to church. I do go to church always, and I'm not giving out money for their development. I will not if I'm not and if I'm not giving out money for their development. I will not be recognized. Nobody will know me, and they won't even feel my absence if I'm not around." But when there is money and I'm showing support to the church, my name will be mentioned every Sunday. Work is very important and it is the solution to the financial issues in the family. Even though you are not church. there, even, even though, though you are not in the church and you just send the money, uh, your, your name will be mentioning them. Let me see. I'm coming. I have a question, but I'm coming. You said, uh, like, that's where. This person that said money, uh, church is important for to, her. To him, mm -hmm. and to her. He said it reminds it reminds me and others that are in Christ that uh, cri that Christ is our top priority. Just dropping in now and then would let that priority slip and will be disheartening for the minister and others there. And a poor example to the kids we hope to influence. To be a church, we have to be and do. If people who care don't show up, who we? Hmm. Another one, he said, it brings a sense of calm and peace. Okay. Uh, now I have a question for everybody. <laughs> uh, for example, maybe a woman, maybe she's married, uh, she's married with kids and everything. And church is a priority. She always goes to, ah, even, I would say family is her own, it's not, it's the, maybe the third or the fourth priority. <laughs> church. Whatever the pastor says, that's what she will do. She will go to the pastors for advice. She will go to the pastor if you want to wear shoe. If you want to tie the color of the shoe, the husband is just like zombie. You know, when you put a mirror, it's not mirror. Ah, what we are going When you just put uh, something as the decoration, flower like a decoration, that's what the husband is. It's like the, that church and the pastor is the. Uh, but I'm not sure if we'll, they had the one that always giving her advice in every area of her life. Even though the husband give her advice in uh, at home, she will not listen. And sometimes your husband will tell you, "Don't go to this church anymore. I don't want you to go there. Please, I want to ask: Is that if is it good to listen to your husband, or is it bad to always to listen to your husband when he said, "Don't I don't want to see you step your feet to this church." Well, you know, many people, they are just uh, misquoting this Bible. Bible. When you join, many the, 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 the two shall become one. one. Hmm. When they join you together, did they join pastor to you? No. The most person that I see, the, the, somebody that I see that you will be a comforter and be your best advisor is God. Let me see. Let me don't don't misquote me. Oh, I may I you love church. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I love to, you know me. I love to go to church. I love anything pertaining to God. Mm. But let me tell you, I've never even carried my matter. That is deep. Mm. That is my, my family matter. I will go and meet pastor. Let me see you. This pastor of nowadays, they don't even control their house. They can't even control their house. Hmm. All these people that are giving advice. There is some pastor that they can, they can advise you and there is a good advice. If my husband called me and said, that church, I don't want you to go to that church. Hmm. My husband did not ask me not to serve my God. He said, I don't want you to go to that church. The only thing you're supposed to come, why? Hmm. If you give you a reason, it was okay. The next thing is to be praying to God, that God. Don't let that thing divide your family. Hmm. Because if you disobey this, your head, after God, your husband. It's your husband that we give, that, that we say, don't go there. If God said, don't go there, number one, and your husband, not pastor. Hmm. Pastor can tell you, don't go there, and you will go. 
It's not your, it's not your head. It's your husband you're supposed to give a, a respect. Many people, the respect they will not give to their, 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 their husband in the house. They will see even somebody, little pastor, hmm. that even senior, uh, the, the husband, even senior, the pastor, they will be needing that. The respect they will give, although they will give, you are giving that pastor because of God. Hmm. I used to give pastor respect. But taking my problem to pastor is if I see you that you are capable and not everything. But if my husband say, sit down, you have to sit down. Don't say because of a pastor. Hmm. That one does not make you not to go to heaven or serve your God. You can sit down and be praying and be, you know, if your husband see how you behave, how you do, he's going to say, ha. Ah, I thought this one will go. Mm. Even God will touch him. Yeah. They are said the, the, the heart of a man, in his God hand, there is nothing God cannot do. But if you want to disobey your God, uh, your, your husband, and you want to please your pastor, it's very wrong. It's a sin. Because it's not your head. Because you are two. They are two. I, I, I'm not sure that the pastor will put asunder. That one God have joy to God, then let no man put asunder. And many pastors now they are putting asunder. Asunder in relationship. In relationship. Hmm. So that is my I did not say that pastor should not give you advice. You can accept your advice to your advice of your pastor. But disobeying your husband and pleasing pastor is very bad. Hmm. For my own little experience, as my own little now, I cannot disobey my husband. And obey pastor because of pastor. Is it pastor that I'm going to meet? Hmm. I can meet God in my house. If my husband said, Don't go there, you sit down. Don't go. And if a pastor said, My husband said, it. If he's a good pastor, that pastor will tell you, Okay, your husband said, Don't come. You better sit at home. I don't want anything to happen to your marriage, but continue to pray for your husband. That's all. But if you see a pastor that will say, Come to my house and disobey you. He's not a pastor. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's true. He's not a pastor. Thank that is my own answer. He's not a pastor. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. I really appreciate I, I love that point. I think people will learn from, the, from what you've just said right now. Yeah, but I have a memory verse. Uh, so a Bible verse. The Bible said that. It said First Timothy 5, 8. It said, anyone who does not love their, provide for their relative." And especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Hmm. Anyone who does not provide for their relative, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Hmm. That's First Timothy five eight. Let me read another another one. He said, okay, but now I don't know. I don't know, you know. Bible scholar, you may be here. Maybe you can. <laughs> There's another one uh, in the Bible, Matthew 5, 3, 8. He said, Jesus said, honor your father and your mother. But in other places like 14 and 26, he said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sister." Yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. If anybody do not want. If anybody does not hate his father, his mother, their children, their brothers and sister, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. Yeah, we don't know if pastors are here. Come out tomorrow, see if yeah. we be here. So I don't know. It may be another, uh, the, it, it may be another oh, yeah, interpretation. Oh. He Let said, pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mothers and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brothers and sister and mother. But not like the church. You know, church, some yeah, people are so immense. Yeah, I understand what he's, he's, he's trying to say there. He's trying to say there. Okay. Yes. There is some times that you, the, even the, the people the, in the church, mm. if it's a real church and you see some good person there, their disciple, and there's some family that you can see, family that is uh, uh, is not good. Mm. You can see in this world, there can some 
there is some evil friend that is even good than family. Family, true, true. That even those who no matter what you do to them, they are going to reward you in evil. Hmm. And you will see some people that is your friend. True. If you are in that category, like family, so my family, not like husband and wife and children, mm. like extended family. family. If you see that behavior in their life, it's better you cleave to those people that you know that they are good mm. to you. Than, than cleaving to the bad ones. Than bad ones. Than your, your family. They are your family. Mm. You better keep them. Mm. But many people will say, ah, you do not help me or help a family or help another person. person. Do you know what those persons have done in my life? That mm. you too cannot even do. That like evil little one that I have self, you reward me with evil. Mm. Mm. So Th that is it. Thank you so much, man. Let me read a uh, comment. Uh, Mr. Falagon Jesse said, I think he's on that question. Yeah. For you to keep your home and make yourself happy as a married woman. You just don't have choice than to listen to your husband. Yes. But if you have another husband out there, you can listen to your pastor's husband. Madam. <laughs> Madam. It's, it's the truth. Madam. Your husband first. <laughs> he said the two, the two of you have cleaned together and you have become one. You have to listen. And in the Bible, he said, Oko, Ololori, is yeah. the head. You just you said, you have to see them as a small God. After God, they had the nest. So when they say, even though maybe they don't want, and you prefer going to that church, the best thing is for you to sit down and listen there. Yes. Dr. Ban Shira and Evan, try to make him understand why you should go to that church. church. Don't fight with him. Fighting with your husband is going to cause wala in the church. <laughs> because the pastor said, Baja! Ijoba Aruni! Eni Toba Fi! The violence of our body. I'm begging by force. Don't go and take it by force. That means, okay, what is law? On your more, don't know. Of your mother. Even to have a perfect marriage as you wish, you and your husband have to be what? Join hands together and listen to each other. You want to understand, your husband to understand that you want to go to that church, that that church is the best place for you to go, then tell him. Make him understand. Don't fight him. That's it. Fighting your, fighting your husband because of uh, and there is another quote. They will say, nobody say, ojue, lo ma mwe kuno, ijobaru, koyo. Even you, can you remove it? Let's be sincere. Can you even remove your face, your eyes? No, if if, if if they say if your if your eyes can make it you just, see, people just to remove it. Yeah, interpret it. They will say, ah, maybe let me tell you, your husband did not say don't serve God, hmm. and nobody can tell, tell you, you not, not to serve, serve God. God. Let me tell you, even though you are living in the same house, uh -uh. if you want to serve God within yourself, no, it doesn't mean that that time that you will be praying. God, Oluwa, I'm more good. I want to more good to me. No, you can pray silently, and hmm. the fire will be keep burning. Hmm. Like sometimes when my husband, when we are praying in the church, my husband will be praying, you know, jalike, 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 jalike. When he just will not say, ha, he, omo omo, he be got to burn jago, Oluwa. All is just to pray. It's not by it's not by Even in the house, I say. You didn't pray up. I was like, ha, ha. Uh, I've prayed. I've, I've prayed. I've prayed. I said, okay. <laughs> and I start learning it. You know, when I start going to church, I see you will be, there will be, ha, God have mercy. You will be <laughs> putting <laughs> your hand in. Like God is deaf. They say, God is no, not, he's he's not, not deaf that he cannot he's hear us. Dead. Even no. when you are in a corner place. And that is the most important place to practice Christianity. Christianity when yes. you are alone. alone, like in this house, Kitchen, maybe maybe I your I your father God, they just leave me in this house and they put something there. Hmm. Is that time that I will practice my Christianity? Yeah. Not when everybody is, is there. there. Many people they are hypocrites. When they see you, by that time they will say, God, uh, God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. <laughs> but what is their inside? It's full of men's days, but like a white sea poker. Appear beautiful, but inside. Ah, who thought he budget it? 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 Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Falego. Jesse. He gave us the 
Bible verse is Matthew eleven twelve. And from the days of John the Baptist Thank until you now, much. the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven has been subjected to violence, and the violence people taking. have yes. been raiding it. Don't go and take it by force, but with your husband. We need to listen to our husband, be, to be sincere. But, but no, you have to uh, make there it is, No, no, there is a something that you will disobey your husband. Mm. If your husband wants you to put your hand that is a sin, don't say because of your husband you have to bear that one. Mm. No. If you want to do something that is not good, my sister, remove your hand and run. And jay, jay, jay. Mm. This is no matter of going to church. No. But if your husband say put hand, if, if your husband say, okay, kill this person. Mm -hmm. Don't say because you want to obey you, your husband and kill that person. No. Mm -hmm. no, we are not talking about that one. We are talking about church. If, yeah. you, if your even, husband say don't go to that church, mm -hmm. you have even to as an uh, as a Christian sister marrying an unbeliever, mm -hmm. let me tell you, in as much that you've married him, you have to respect whatever your husband say. You want to change him, you have to be patient. Patient. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be patient. You marry an unbeliever and you think you're gonna take it uh, uh, by force, like Matthew eleven twelve said. No, it requires patience. And you have in as much that so to be a sinning go or coel and as a Christian sister to an mm. unbeliever that is your husband, then not to be a sinning cause and in Koto and in Bible, you have to listen to them because they are your God, the small God. Bible it, it said they are small God. He said after him, they are next. You have to use wisdom to do what to make them believe that that your way is the right way. And Don't some, take it sometimes, by force. sometimes, husband used to try the wife. Mm. True. Let me see what she will do. She will do. You know that this thing that I'm doing is not good. You will just say, no, I don't want you to. This cup, leave it here. Hmm. Okay, so I should leave, leave it, here. it there. Okay. Toba <laughs> is like my husband when he say this one say this thing is not good. You say leave it. Here. Ah. Toba ti, Toba ni ti. They were okay. Ah, Helen have said it. Too. Ah. It's better so that my word will I know. Annie. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I understand. Yeah. So that Annie, that I might have to say, uh, it's Let better me read another there. comments. He said, in that kind of situation, husband are the head of the family and they have control over the family. Some families uh, have allowed pastor to take over the family in which the pastor is the dictator. True. Families should involve pastors in their spiritual problems and some physical, but not all. Wife who obey pastor and disobey husband have gone against the scripture. Yet, if I find myself in this situation, I will tell my wife that it is either he choose me or the pastor. But if she refuse, she can go and live with the pastor for the rest of her life and forget about me. <laughs> It's the truth, it's the truth, it's the truth. My husband said yeah. everything is important. He said everything is important. It's very important, but that's it. I'm telling that me, Ojun, Ojun, Tio, Wo. He said, You haven't seen the rich Ojun, Tio, Wo. Tio, Wo. Yes. Call my car one situation to Tio, Wo. Ojun, Tio, Wo. It's because we are not there yet. When you are in that, when you get into that millionaire, Bilonia can cause, then you will think that I am better off where I am. Okay, let's uh, go on a short break. We'll be right back.
among the people around you. Tell me who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Among the people around you. Tell me who you are. Who you are. Who you are. Among the people around you. Tell me who you are. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate everybody for this topic today. I believe we've learned one, uh, one or two things from this topic today. For me, like I said, I give my family 50%, my work 40%, and what? My church 10%. But who holds everything? God. God. I give it to him. He's my number, my first priority. Priority. After him comes my family. After family comes the work. After work comes the church. Because no matter what, the church may say, ah, if you're Latin, if Latin, just since you look at you, you can't go and everything. I can do it. Ibi bogbolo wa, seo, ibi bogbolo wa. Ibi bogbo, ibi bogbolo wa, ibi bogbolo wa. No matter where. You have anything to say, ma? Yeah, you have said it all. Mm. Don't say maybe many people that say, ah, shall one she shake ferini. Church is different from God. Mm. God is our first priority. In anything without God, you can't go to church. Without God, you can't have family. Mm. But we are not talking about to go and sleep inside church and without work. Because by the way, I've said it. Oh, I don't know how to put it in English. Work that without work, without, with, uh, without, faith without that work. work is dead. Yeah. So it's very your family is very important. So we are just learning and our opinion. Mm. That is my uh, my own. I give my family sixty and I give work forty. Mm. That sixty church will be including. Because it's the it's same family. thing, it's, it's family too. So that is it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> Please don't go. Let's do a, a second recharge card. Oh, is it the third? Okay, let's keep the third now. Uh, let's do our quiz. Quiz, are quiz, you ready? Quiz, 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 quiz. Let's see the lucky winner today. So, I don't know. I don't remember doing the second one. So really? I did it. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Are you ready? You know the rules and regulations. For those people that are new on this platform, uh, for our 10 questionnaire, you know how we do it. Please don't send in your your answers until we, you've answered 1 to 10. Question 1, B. Question, Question 2, two. C. <laughs> T -t 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 D. You understand that you send it this so that pe other people won't uh, copy your answers. We need to be fair. So yeah, I should say it again. Okay, so they say I should say it again. What I'm saying is that please don't send in your answers before uh, we complete the question. Don't, don't when I call question one, I, I read it and everything. You send question one. No, please make sure you answer the ten. Uh, you put all your options, the A, B, C to ten before you send in your answer so that other people won't copy it. Some people don't know it, but when they say, ah, okay, what happened more wrong, give me go, they cook more tell it. What happened in your right, yeah, can say if you you know, you understand what I'm saying. So this uh, is about the government, Nigeria government, Africa.